A man who is HIV positive is trying to end the stigma about the community, and he did so in a really interesting and viral way. What he did is he took a picture with his family. He's holding a sign that says that he's HIV positive, but everyone else in his family, including his children, are HIV negative. Okay, So he's trying to say that being HIV positive doesn't necessarily mean that it's the end of your life. It doesn't mean that you can't have a normal life. It doesn't mean that you can't have a family. He has a healthy family. He did not transmit HIV to his wife or his children. And honestly, this was not just an educational campaign for people who feel or believe the stigma toward uh, those who have HIV. It was an educational campaign for someone like me who thought she knew a lot about this, mm -hmm. right? I thought that you can't have kids if you're HIV positive. I didn't know that you can actually have sex without, or unprotected sex, without sure. worrying about transmitting the disease. I mean, I, in, in this, I needed, I really, I think this is what's important about everyone sharing their stories and destigmatizing um, HIV positive people and the community at large, like you said, because the only way any of us learn anything is by talking to each other. Yeah. And the fact that this man was willing to share his truth and had been harboring shame for 30 some odd years as you know, some, as, you know he received, he, I think it was transmitted as he was a child, he was born with yeah. it. Yeah. Um, it took that long for him to be able to post this picture and share it on social media. And it's incredible that that's, I mean, that is how long yeah. it takes to destigmatize, and it is still happening. Yeah, it's amazing. So he was, he was born with uh, HIV because both his parents had it. And so he had to deal with this for such a long time. And of course, there's a lot of stigma out there. There's a lot mm -hmm. of misinformation about how people get HIV, why people get HIV. For the longest time, it was believed that HIV was something that was unique to the gay community, but obviously that's not the case. And so you read about his story, and honestly it made me do more research and try to figure out, you know, how, how likely is it and how often do HIV positive individuals have families and have children without worrying about transmitting it. And so there's actually a process where you can have kids, your own biological kids, and they don't get HIV. It's called sperm washing. Um, and they said they were working with fertility clinics, right, yes. in order to have their children. Yes, yes. And you do have to work with fertility clinics, even if you use your own sperm, because what happens is uh, they do this process called sperm washing, which uh, takes the HIV out wow. of your sperm, and then they artificially inseminate it. And that's how you can have your own biological kids. So you can have a normal life. But one thing that I do want to point out is that not everyone who gets HIV um, is as lucky because the treatments are expensive. So you have to have resources. You have to have resources and a lot of the treatments aren't covered by insurance. So for instance, if you do decide that you want to have children and you want your own biological children, um, the insurance companies will not pay for that. So, but nonetheless, I'm glad that he's raising awareness about this because it is a very nuanced uh, issue that people don't know about. And I love that his picture went viral too. I know, and that's like, you're like, this is when you want a virus to go viral. Right. Is the discussion, um, you just never see, and, and I like positive news about people who are HIV positive. You yeah. don't really, and the fact that the internet is having a conversation about a man and his family, and really, and uh, there's a lot of support for him. And that yeah. is... That is truly positive because, you know, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, that would not have been the case. Instantly demonized all sorts of misconceptions and stereotypes about what kind of person he is, what his sexuality is. So it is, I am cheered that we've yeah. come this far.